Now for Lima Central Catholic football, last season came to an end in week 12. Fast forward to 2024 and LCC is back and ready to make a deeper run this time around. Our Tony Quatch previews the T-Birds ahead of their Thursday showdown against Shawnee. Countdown to kickoff is brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. An A and four regional semifinal finish in 2023 pales in comparison to LCC's previous playoff runs, which included two state semifinal finishes and a regional finalist berth in the previous three years. But according to head coach Scott Palti, 2023 was a learning experience for a young Thunderbird squad. Now, we we're fortunate. We have a lot of guys returning from our 2023 team. We have uh, nine guys back on both sides of the ball. So all the experiences that they had last year um, in the playoffs and playing good football teams, they learned from. You know, it really was a, a good learning experience for our kids. They did a lot of good things, and they're really excited for this upcoming season. The Thunderbirds graduated only four seniors from last year, but two of those T-Birds were a pair of all Ohio stars in QB Carson Parker and his wide receiver threat Billy Burke. Their impact on the program went beyond the gridiron. Well, those are two uh, really difficult guys to replace. Um, you know, it's, it's going to take a group effort to replace their leadership and their and their abilities on the field as well. But yeah, they're going to be missed. We hope we have some guys that have you know watched how they practice, watched how they conducted themselves and worked in the offseason. We're hoping that carries over and our guys learn from that and helps us this upcoming season. This season's sophomore Brady Parker will be the new field general for LCC as he looks to follow in his brother footsteps. Everybody's been doubting me saying I'm not going to be as good as him but I feel like I just be, I'll be just as good. And, you know he taught me my whole life ever since I was like little. Every down he teach me. Last year he teach me all my reads. He teach me everything last year and how to be a quarterback how I am today. LCC will open up their season with a Thursday night showdown against Shawnee for the fourth year in a row. In the following week they have another rivalry game against the St. John's Blue Jays. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. It gets your kids' attention when you're playing two teams they're familiar with, um, two teams that we've had a little bit of rivalry with. So, yeah, that what's exciting. We're always excited to play each other, being so close to each other. So, I mean, you can expect a good game, and uh, our defense needs to be uh, ready to play and uh, be able to tackle this year. We couldn't tackle very well, but, yeah, we'll be ready for both those games this year. After week three, the Thunderbirds will embark on their first full season in the Northwest Conference in well over a decade. And the level of competition is what Coach Palti and his players are looking forward to the most. I'm just excited for the level of football that's in the Northwest Conference. There's some really good football teams and excited to build some local rivalries. And a Friday night in, in these Northwest Conference towns is a, is a full town experience. If people come out, crowds are great. Um, it, it's just, I'm really excited for our kids to get to experience that. For LCC, it's all about being physical. This year, as Coach Palti and the T Birds plan to grow with one another in hopes of making a deep playoff run towards the end of the season. Yeah, we're hoping we can be a physical football team. We think Matthew's a physical back. We think with all our linemen returning and a tight end returning, that we can be physical up front. So we're really hoping that we can control the line of scrimmage. We hope we can build off that. And hopefully, as the year goes on, uh, Brady will continue to develop and, and, you know, start to become a little more open and uh, really by the end of the year be playing our best football. Reporting in Lima, Tony Quach. Your News Now Sports.